So what can we expect for tomorrow? Is this a good time to be buying the dip? Joining us quickly here for a comment as we look ahead is David Banson from the Banson Group and John Petridis from Point View Wealth Management. David, what do you make of the ugly action we saw today on top of yesterday's heavy selling now six days in a row? What does it tell you about where we go from here? I actually do really believe that this is the early uh, stages of that long talked about transition from growth to value. I think that the idea that all of this is just related to higher interest rates doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Bond yields have dropped, of course, over the last 24 hours. Market prices have dropped substantially. I think you see this flight into treasuries, not out of treasuries. It doesn't strike me as a big inflationary induced panic. I think you had an incredible amount of froth in what we call cool tech, that big, high growth, high PE space. And the very soft, relatively speaking, very soft sell off in some of the more defensive sectors, I think is going to continue. And we love being able to pick up these dividend yields at a higher place than we could have got them two, three and five days ago. John, uh, all three of the big uh, indices were positive briefly in the morning, but clearly sold significantly from those levels. Is that a concern? Yeah, I mean, I think yesterday and today is all about China. I mean, China did quantitative easing on Sunday evening. And why, if your economy is supposed to be growing at six and a half percent, would you need to stimulate the economy? And I think you're seeing the fear trade kick in. I don't think this is interest rates this week, because if it was, why would treasuries rally? Why would gold rally? And why would utilities rally? Three assets that are typically negatively correlated to rising interest rates. So right now, this is all about China and the fears of its economy buckling. What are you looking for ahead of tomorrow, Mike? Drudge, by the way, is now leading with the stock market. I yeah. don't know if that's some sort of an indication. No, you're seeing a lot of signs of at least a short-term excessive panic. Um, I look a lot at a lot of those things. But really what you want to see is on any rally attempts, do you actually see most stocks participating? Does it seem like more than just uh, a little bit of a dead cat bounce? All those things. Also, by the way, the credit markets have held together okay. Yeah. It isn't right now uh, much of an economic message about impending weakness in the U.S. economy, at least not from the other markets right now. So if that changes, that would be a concern. But right now, it's mostly a stock market event. John, do you think China sells off again overnight? Uh, yes, I would expect China to sell off again overnight. Uh, probably not as dramatic as last night into today. Uh, it is a good sign that we're seeing green on the screen, the futures for the U.S. market. So, um, you know, let's see what happens in the next couple hours. David, what about earnings? Are you, are you looking for signals from guidance or margins that could change the narrative here for the market? Yeah, yes, yes, and yes. Uh, as the <laughs> earnings season go, the market always follows. And I believe that you're going to see a very robust earnings season and you're going to see an awful lot of capex announcements you're going to see a lot of dividend increases and mm -hmm. ultimately the the margins continue to expand you have growing top line revenue those fundamentals are solid i agree with what john said there's a lot of fear you see some degree of movement in those fear defensive assets that helps explain some of that. I think that the fear is China okay. related and just mm -hmm. high valu valuations. It's a really healthy shakeout. This happens David all the time. And John, we're you both very much.